Steve Leitner says, Brandy Pawnshot sold him a sick boxer puppy. Now, I'm not comfortable that when you saw this puppy in the Walgreens parking lot and let it run around and then kept it in your bed and let it sleep with you and then had it the entire day the next day. You didn't take the puppy to the vet on Sunday. You didn't take the puppy to the vet on Monday. The, the so vet, for you... The, the vet had asked me when she had her first shots. They wanted to know that. Just so listen that, to what I'm saying to you. Um, You're not hearing what I'm saying That's why I didn't take her I'm earlier. Not, you're not listening to what I'm saying okay, I'm to sorry. you, sir. I'm sorry. You have to satisfy me to even consider this case that she knew the puppy was sick. And if you didn't know the puppy was sick on Saturday night, on Sunday, I, still I don't suspect. Well, maybe you yes. sort of suspected. Maybe she didn't sort I of suspect. Maybe you're smarter than she is. But certainly, you look like a nice man, Mr. Leitner. So if you knew that the puppy was sick on Monday, and you bought it under these circumstances, you would have taken it to the vet Mondays. The, the only th thing I saw from the puppy was a lack of energy and a lack of appetite. She didn't give the dog a pill on Saturday night no. it, to make it happy and jovial and running around Saturday night, Sunday. You have to show that she so because you don't have a written guarantee of a puppy. Correct. The only sympathy I would have for you is if she masked somehow symptoms of a sick puppy and knowingly sold you a sick puppy. And you don't have any evidence of that. Evidence that she tried to get out of this or contacting me by faking her own death and faking her children's death. She knew that she sold me a bad puppy because she did not want to pay me back or give me my money back. You're absolutely she right. Went, she you're went not, to extremes, extreme, not, extreme you're still, circumstances. You're still not following me, sir. She doesn't have $2,000 to give you for vet bills that you expended for this puppy. You have to prove to me, in order for me to have any sympathy whatsoever with your position, that she knowingly sold you a sick puppy. If the puppy showed no symptoms to you when you bought it, how am I supposed to ascribe the fact that the puppy was sick while in her custody? Based on, the, on the, the vet reports in here, she was underweight, she was skeletal. That's something you should have seen. You go to pick up a puppy, and if a puppy, and you said, I bought many dogs, that's what you told me I've, before. I've I bought many dogs, many puppies, and I always bought them this way. That's what you told me. Yes. Well, if the dog was skeletal, then you would have seen that on Saturday. I've got and you would have seen it. Like. And you, you would have seen it on Sunday.